Hi, I'm John Strange from Your Business Freedom and this is part three in our series on how to make time to work on your business. And today we're going to be talking about the art of delegation. Now this is a most important subject to master if you're ever going to ever get your work balance right when you're running a small business. Because unless you learn how to properly delegate, then you're forever going to be working in your business and you're going to be tied to your business. And the whole point of this series is to um, give you that freedom so you don't have to be working in your business all of the time. The business can exist and carry on with when you're not there. So this is something you really need to master. And the problem is so many people get this wrong. They think delegation is merely just handing over um, a task that they don't want to do to somebody else. And, and often it ends very badly. So what I want to do is just share a few secrets with you uh, about how to successfully delegate. Now, the first thing to do is, is to figure out what it is that you're good at and what you're not so good at. And this should be part of your practice in your coffee shop or wherever you made that time to, uh, to work um, on, your, on your business. So you've been through the exercise, you're now starting to get your tasks sorted out for the day so you're concentrating on the uh, priority items. The next task is, is to do a bit of self-analysis. What do I do really well? What do I do badly? Now in my case that's easy. I type at the speed of a snail on Valium. So you do not get me typing anything because uh, it's totally and absolutely unprofitable. You need to do a, and go through the same exercise yourself and work out what you're good and what you're not so good at. And then you need to figure out what are those tasks should you be delegating to somebody else. Because there are some things that you should never ever, in my opinion, delegate to somebody else. Um, paying accounts, for example. In 40 years, I've never allowed anybody to pay accounts for me. They can bring me the, the documentation so that I can pay them, so they do the work and all I do is just pay the bills. But I do not allow anybody to have access into our bank account. So simply because somebody else could do it better than you doesn't in itself mean that you should allow them to do it. So work out what it is that you should be delegating. Then you need to work out, all right, do I have anybody in my team already that I can start delegating some of the things to? Because again, you need to work out what their strengths and weaknesses are. So it's no good me delegating a typing task to somebody who types at the same speed as me because that's not solving the problem. I need to delegate that to somebody who types at the speed of lightning. So I need to figure out who there is. I then need to be absolutely clear as to what the task is that I am delegating. And I need to draft that out. I then need to call the person in and together we need to go over what that task is. Working out exactly how it's going to be done. For preference, this should already be written out, the procedure on how a job should be done. But um, maybe to begin with, you haven't got that, but you want to, to make a start on this, so at least make sure that you and they are clear on what needs to be done, how it's to be done, and the time frame under which it has to be done. Then you build in some touch points. Yeah. If it's a longer job or an ongoing job, then how often are they going to report back to you on how well they're going with the job? Um, you know, is it once a week, every day? Um, depends upon the job. But you need to figure out what the, re the reporting will be. And then you need to build into your system a follow-up to make sure that they are doing 
what they said, and that is giving you re reports on how things are going. Uh, just how detailed those reports are, again, it would be dependent upon the job, but make sure that you check up upon them. How are you going with that job? You said you were going to report to me yesterday. I haven't received that report. Make sure I get it today, and in future, let's keep to that time schedule. Start off how you intend to continue with it. Um, because if you allow people to get away with it in the beginning, then you are setting the tone for all future delegation. And lastly, let me make this quite clear. You can delegate the task, you can delegate the authority, but one thing you cannot do is delegate the ultimate responsibility. As one of the American presidents once said, the buck stops here. And if you own a small business, it stops with you. So you need to make sure you've got these processes in place to make sure when you delegate something, it's not going to come home and bite you in the tail. So never forget that and make sure you follow those steps. Until the next time, good delegating.